Hi everybody, I'm David Baber and welcome back to part two of our Hovercam tutorial. Now in the first tutorial, I gave you a quick overview of how the Hovercam works, how all the buttons work on the device. And now this tutorial will show you how it looks on your computer when you're actually using the Hovercam in a classroom. So when you want, once you get your Hovercam uh, connected to your computer, like I showed you in the first tutorial, when you plug it in, the USB port on your computer, the next thing you have to do is download the Hovercam software on your computer in order for the camera to work. Now, the reason for that is because there is no power button on the Hovercam like there was on the Elmos. So with the Hovercam, you use your computer to turn the camera on and off. So you have to have the software in order to use all of the different features that the Hovercam has. And I'll show you that as soon as we download the software. So first off, go to the Hovercam website. If you look up here at the top of the screen, it is hovercam.com slash support slash downloads. Now that's the absolute quickest way to get you to the screen where the downloads are. So hovercam.com slash support slash downloads. Now, this is the uh, website where you will be directed. And what you'll do is scroll down here to the first part where it says downloads. And you want to download Hovercam Flex 11. And you'll download for PC, which will work also on laptops. Now, regardless of whether you have a Solo 8 Hovercam or a Hovercam Flex 11, this software will work both cameras. So you'll click download for PC and just follow the prompts. It's very simple. It only takes probably a couple minutes at the most to put this software on your computer. So just follow the prompts. And once it is done, let me go out of this uh, site. Now on your desktop screen, it will place a Hovercam Flex 11 shortcut. And this button right here is what you will use to turn the Hovercam on whenever you want to use it. So just make sure it's plugged into your computer in the USB port. And once you see the blue light on the Hovercam turn on, then just click on Hovercam Flex 11 shortcut on your desktop. So let's go ahead and do that and turn it on. There we go. Now you can see the Hovercam is looking at the table in front. And I'll wave my hand in front and you can see that it is working. And all of your commands on the hover cam are right here across the bottom on this uh, strip right here. Now, the first feature on here that I want to show you is right here in the middle of the zoom. Now, there is a zoom button on the camera that you can use to uh, zoom in or out if need be. But if you're on your computer and maybe say you're away from the camera a little bit, you're not right up at it where you can get to it easily. Well, you can actually control it from your computer by clicking zoom. And then I will put something in front to demonstrate. And then you can zoom in or out by just toggling the switch back and forth right here on the screen. And then just click zoom again to take it back down. Now, another one that's good to use is the snapshot. If you need to take a snapshot of anything, then you and, and save that, you can click snapshot and it takes a picture and saves it on an image file that will appear here on the left side of your page. Now, I have several of them already, so the most recent ones will be up here at the top. And if you ever need to go back and delete, you can actually just hover over top and you'll see a little X and then you can take those out just like that. So that's how you can take a snapshot and the snapshots will be saved in the archive. So if you click here to where it says go to archive, it'll take you to a page where images, documents and videos that are recorded on the hover cam will be stored. So you can click images and there you have it. There's the one we just took. And I'm going to close that. And then you can go back to the hover cam by going up here and clicking on back to camera view. 
Now it also puts them on a folder on your computer. If you go down to the folder here, it'll say um, Hovercam, you will actually find it under your documents folder. When you add the software to your computer, it automatically puts this Hovercam Flex folder on your computer under your documents folder. And then you can click on your documents, images, or videos, just like you saw back there in the archive a moment ago. All right, now we're going to <clears throat> close this out right here. All right, now, Another feature that you can use on here is the side-by-side -side view. Now, say for instance, you want to show more than one page at a time. You might have two handouts and maybe not enough room to put them side-by-side -side on the under the hover cam. So what you can do is take a snapshot of that first image like I just did. Now, I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to put a second image down here. This is actually a manual that's in English and French. So I'm going to put the French copy here. Now I'm going to compare the two side by side by clicking the side by side option. Now my image that I have under the hover cam is right here on the right side of the page. And on the left side, I have a choice of images that I can pick from. So I'm going to pick one right here. And that will bring up the image that I took a snapshot of just a moment ago. And I have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. And that's a good way to do any kind of comparisons in your, in your lessons. Now, when you're done and want to close out the side-by-side, -side, just close it by clicking this white X right here. And that brings your camera back to where you had it. Now I'm gonna show you a feature where the Hover cam can actually scan images for you. Now, this feature is here at the bottom where it says multi-scan. And what you do is just place the images right in front that you want to scan. Now it will take a picture just as it sees it on the screen right here. So I'll click multi-scan and you can have it as where it's on a timer. And that means you have, in this case, three seconds to change it. But you can also up that to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or however much you need. Just leave it on the three, and uh, we'll make it five. And you can have up to 999 images uh, that you can scan. And if you want to save those as a PDF, then you'll just turn this feature on right here. Sometimes it's off. So you just turn that on and you can have either the landscape orientation or portrait, like what I've got right here is portrait. So I'm gonna turn landscape off just so that it takes the picture the way I want it to. And then when I'm ready, I will click start and it gives you, well, it gives you the countdown. And then you have five seconds and then you put the next one in and then it takes that picture. And then when you're done, you just click the multi-scan and click stop and then close. Now, where do these images go, you might ask? Well, if you go down here to where this little screen is on the far left, just to the left of where it says side by side, there's where your images go. So you can click on there. And then if we scroll down, you see we've got our images that we took right here and see it connected them together in a PDF file. So that's a handy feature that if you want to scan things and don't have access to a scanner, then you can use your hover cam and use your built in feature. And of course, from here, you can print or save these on your computer or to Google Drive, however way you need to save these images. Now, another one that's a feature, another handy feature is the pause button. Now say for instance, you want to leave the image that's under the hover cam for your students to look at while you change it out for something else. Well, you can click pause and see the image is paused. And now I'm going to slide it out and see here it is right here. And I'm going to put this other one under me. And then I'm going to unpause. 
and there you go. So you can pause, put it and change them out, and then leave it up for your students to see, and then unpause when you're ready to move to the next one. Now, another option is this view option button. And let's click that. Now here you can rotate your image to the left. You can rotate it upside down. You can rotate to the right. You can also mirror the image if need be. Now, here's a real handy one. Say you want to hide this where the students can't look at it, but you want to have it up on the, the document under the hover cam ready to go. Well, you click this reveal and it places a curtain over top of the image. And when you're ready to show it, all you have to do is take your cursor up to the top and hold down the left click and drag and see you can reveal as little or as much as you want. So this is a very handy tool if you're doing an activity and you don't want the students getting ahead of you, reading on ahead and you only want them to see a little bit at a time. So that option is under the view and then reveal. And when you're done with it, just click this view and we'll go back to our regular page. There, just click reveal and that'll disappear and take you back. Now, one other feature that the Hovercam has is a built-in whiteboard. And that is actually accessible if you go down here to the bottom right and click whiteboard. And you can uh, have the board, uh, the whiteboard up and your image on your camera will still be here in the top right section of the screen. Okay, now the whiteboard commands are all over here on the left side of the page. So you can have your toolbar uh, move from the left to the right side of the page here. I've moved it to the right or I can click and move it back over here to the left side. There's a move tool and a pen, freehand pen and a highlighter. If you opt to use this electronic whiteboard, then you can choose from any of these pens right here, the black, the orange, blue, green, purple, or brown. And we'll just choose this one and you can write on the screen, which is hard to do if you don't have a mouse. And right now I don't have a mouse, so I'm just zigzagging all over. So you can do that. You can change the pen color and so forth. Now, if you want to uh, highlight, you can use this and change the color of the highlighter in the very same way. Now, when you need to erase, the eraser is right down here, this little blue and white eraser tool. Now, if you want to erase the entire screen, you can just click this trash can, or if you need to erase one thing at a time, just click on the actual object. and just move the cursor and that will erase it. Same thing right here. I'm just gonna do that. Well, I took the whole thing off. Now, if you need to undo an action, you can always go right down here to this blue arrow. It'll go to the arrow up here at the top because that will take you back to the camera. But if you need to undo, just click that arrow and bring it back. And then redo is right below it. So when you're done with the whiteboard, you can click on the, the arrow here in the top left corner and that will return you back to the camera view. So that is a brief tutorial of how all the basic functions work on the hover cam. And if you have any questions, please email me at dbaber at wcs.k12.va.us.